Hello and welcome back to another episode of We Are The Bakers. Today we are at Cork Abbey, which is a manor house built in the early 1700s. It was home to the Arpa family for hundreds of years until the National Trust overtook it in 1985. Now, this isn't like a normal stately home, what you'll find with the National Trust properties. This is called the unstately home. Basically, they left it as it was found in 1985, which is a pretty much a complete mess. There's lots to do here at Cork Abbey. You have got the actual house itself to go in, but you've also got lots of grounds you can go walking on. There's places you can walk the dog, there's deers, there's water and there's trees you can climb. Dad, Timmy thinks can't climb trees. He fell out of one. I didn't fall out the tree, I just didn't land the way I wanted to land. So I believe this is actually one of the, the tidy rooms, believe it or not. So this is their living room, so quite small, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty. Couldn't you afford the electricity? No. Nope. It's not as clean and tidy as the uh, other stately homes we've been in, is it, Freya? No, but I, like, um, I don't really want to try that one because it's like the right height of the horse. So it's a good rocking horse, it's a bit dirty. The reason the house is such a mess and went into decline is actually because it was as it was handed down from generation to generation, every time there's a lot of inheritance, it's tax or death duties is what they called it. So eventually it just kind of ran out of money and they just closed parts of the stately home off um, and it just went into wreck and ruin really. So this is where they would have sat and had dinners. Mm -hmm. So at the moment it's not too messy, is it really, at the moment? It's not as messy as I was thinking it was going to be at the moment, is it, Freya? But there's just so much stuff. They have just literally collected loads of stuff. Like how, how many pheasants does one person need? And, and how many rabbits? How many gears? So much. But well, suppose when you've got so much space, you've got to fill it. I would add a big swimming pool in here. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a snooker table. Is that a crocodile? This? A giant crocodile's head? Can I tell you what a... Or an alligator, maybe. Can I tell you what a crocodile makes a, a poodle is? What? Crocodoodle. This is the library. I always wonder what was written in all these books, what kind of stories, or is it more encyclopedias? It's a big library. Well, although there's a lot of stuff, there's not like lots of luxury. It might have been luxury in the early 1800s and 1900s, but when this was actually taken over in 1985, I wouldn't say this is luxury. Another living area for them. It's like a, it's like an antique shop. Oh, this looks like it's going to be good. Oh wow, just loads more taxidermy everywhere. This is where it's starting to, oh wow. That's a big dollhouse, that's a massive dollhouse. But this room's a real mess, isn't it? Like, look at the state of it. Look at a tiger underneath here, the tiger rug. It's actually something that I actually have a collection of. Oh my god. But I would have a collection of these stuff. Well, that's Charles. The state of it. Like, they've got a massive crack in the ceiling. This is like your bedroom, Sophie. Yeah. That's fair, it's like a spare bedroom. Yeah. So, okay, so this is just chairs. an empty room, a few chairs there. Oh, wow. Now, now this is where we're getting all the, the messy stuff, aren't we, Freya? Oh, like, they didn't care about the upstairs, they're not downstairs. 
So Fred just made a really good point. It's not like this downstairs, and that's because we would have had guests downstairs. This up here, a bit like all of us, stick it behind the door, shut the door, forget about it. More taxidermy, Freight. Loads more taxidermy. It's just everywhere. And come and have a look. Oh, yeah. It's like our camping toilet. You might be wondering why the National Trust have just left it the way it is. And the reason behind that is to show the decline in these country houses. If they did them all up, you wouldn't actually understand what happened to them during the 1900s but now we get to see the states that some of these became oh wow look at the bed well, that one's actually behind glass so that one is kept clean it's a big kitchen but it's not where you want to prepare food is it really <laughs> just told us what granddad said that the chef the, the head cook, the head cook, used to sleep in the kitchen. Wow, interesting. What do you think they would have cooked in here? Lots of things. See all them beards upstairs. Oh. Lots of that stuff. So we're on our way to the servants' quarters now, and if that's the state that the house was in, I wonder what state the servants lived in. <laughs> oh, this is where the servants were then. And this is a table. This is so messy. So we're now in the tunnels. God, it's cold in these tunnels. Can't really go down that one. I don't know if I'd want to go down that one. And then down there is the tunnel to the brew house. So who's up for going through the tunnel? Me. I am. Me. Everyone saying yes, Mum, it's just you. So you have to come with us. I keep going through these tunnels. I wonder what these tunnels are actually for. Oh, I can hear noises, I can see lights. Tunnel does go on some distance down there. We're walking through this tunnel and I actually know how far it goes and where it takes us. Well, as you can see, it's going quite dark. It's not going dark. Can't see. There we go. Well, no, because if I turn back this way, you can see the light behind me. Oh, well, we've got a torch on. So, I don't know what the tunnel It says tunnel to the brew house, so I'm hoping at the end of here I'm going to find some beer. Right, we're getting into some light. There we go. We can see light. It's a drain. Whew. It's a bit stinky in there. Oh, we've got some steep steps we need to go up now. We did it. Be careful. More meh. Oh. There we go, we're out into this. Do we? So, this is where, yeah, this is where they would have brewed beer for you. So, this, this is it, literally, where they used to brew beer. Well, that's us done here at the unstately home, which is called Abbey. It's not actually even an Abbey, it's just a manor house. But that's it, we're done here now today. Fred, what did you think of it? Was yeah, just find out you don't actually have to do the tunnel. We chose to do that ourselves. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and do it. Subscribe.